guys, so it's me, Misty Dawn. Um, I decided since I haven't made a tutorial in a while and there's been a few people that have asked me about how to image map their banners, I decided that maybe I should make a tutorial about it so that way it helps a variety of people um, figure this thing out. So first of all, um, you're going to need this image right up here. So after you've made your background, you're going to need to take the banner image and you're going to have to use that as kind of like um, a guideline. It's not actually going to be used as the code that you want, so it's more like just a guideline. So you can image map exactly where you want the links to go, so you can make basically this whole thing clickable, or whatever you want on it clickable. Um, the dimensions I would normally use for a banner, or what you should use for a banner, is 970 pixels, that's the width, and 150 pixels for the height. So what you would do for that is like, for example, you're making a new banner, go into new, and you would just put in, well I just put it in because like, I just did it recently, but you would just put in 970 here, 150 there, click OK, show you, there you go. Um, I advise when making backgrounds uh, that you try to make your banner a separate image uh, first. It just makes, I just find it's easier. It's not to say that you can't make it on here and then put it into there, but just, I don't know. It gets a little more complicated because then you gotta resize it again and unfortunately that's what I did. So yeah, because you're gonna need a separate image in order to link your banner, otherwise it's just gonna be a pretty picture and you can't link anything on it. Alright, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Uh, basically once you have your image, which I do, I have it on my desktop, uh, you're going to want to go to... not my, not my channel, but... <laughs> You're going to want to go to this site right here, it's imagemaps.com, um, I will provide a link in the description below for this site. And what you basically do is right here, you got all this blurb, um, you're going to want to browse from your PC if the image is on your PC or from, from if it's from a URL, I've never done it from a URL before so if you want to do it from a URL then go ahead, feel free. So first of all hit browse. Um, um, I've saved mine on my desktop, wherever you saved it basically, remember where you saved it. Um, I've got tons of stuff on my desktop as you can see. Uh, there it is. Okay, so open it, and then you're going to say start mapping your image. Click that. I'm going to wait for this thing to load. My internet won't be so slow for me today. Okay. File upload. Congratulations, your file was, su was successful. Then you gotta wait, this is just gonna show you a little picture down here what you uploaded, so this is what I uploaded. Uh, then you wait a few seconds and you're gonna say continue to next step. So this is where basically the whole uh, mapping your image is gonna come in. Okay, so I want like all this to be clickable down here. I want these to be clickable, this to be clickable, this to be clickable. Uh, for, I guess, demonstration, I'm probably not gonna show each, every single one, but just to kind of give you a gist. This. So you're going to want to do rectangle, I usually say rectangle, I've never messed with custom shape, I just really don't bother with it. You can start messing with that if you want, uh, if you know how to do that, or you just want to say, hey, this is cool. Uh, so hit rectangle, and basically you're, you can resize this little box right here. So I would just resize it over my Twitter, Twitter, Twitter thing, so that way that's clickable size it down there a little bit. You want all this being clickable up here. Basically the whole area you have here is going to be clickable for that particular link. And then what you're going to want to do is get rid of this and get your links. I already have them in a notepad here because I prepared for this. Um, so I'm just going to copy paste this in here. Uh, you can test the link which will basically just open the link make sure it works in a different tab. I know these work these work already, so hit save and then basically repeat. Done. So I've got all of these, they're all clickable. It'll tell you if you highlight over them, it'll tell you which link it's gonna go in and obviously the code's gonna show you the code it's gonna provide for each of these individual sections here. Um, on my banner I have these clickable too, but just to make this a bit shorter, I'm just gonna show you for example. So after you get the gist of what I've been doing here, you can pretty much make anything on here clickable if you want or on your banner. Um, it will basically take external and internal links, so don't worry about, oh, I can only use YouTube links. It doesn't work like that. You can use any link you want, so that's why you can outsource to like Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Uh, you can also link your 
playlist and other channels or whatever you want to do essentially the person you're partnered with so once you've got all of that done which I'm gonna say yeah I'm done you're gonna click down here and say get your code click that and it's gonna give you a variety of different options here what you're gonna want is you want the HTML code so you are going to copy this wonderful beautiful text Make sure you get it all. You copy every single little inch of it. So make sure you scroll over. Make sure it's all highlighted. Okay, cool, good. So you're gonna say copy all of that. Then you're gonna go to your channel, and you're gonna want to go to channel settings. Also, in fact, you have to upload your whole background as well. So make sure you uploaded your background before you do this, because otherwise it won't work. Um, you're also gonna want to put up here how far down you want. Uh, or how much space you basically you want here, how far down you want your channel um, module pushed down, I guess. I have it at 150. Um, that's kind of what I'm going by. If you have been using the template that, or the template link to the guy who provided the template in my last tutorial, like my first Photoshop tutorial, how to make channel backgrounds, um, there is a partner template there as well in that little package that I linked you guys to. So if you're using that one, then use 150 pixels. If you're using your custom one, uh, you're gonna have to see how what the dimensions are. So if the height of your banner is, I don't know, 120 pixels, then you put it at 120 pixels because it's gonna show the height, like how much it's gonna show. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna make sure that's done. And then this box right here, is where you're gonna want to put put the wonderful code. I'm not gonna bother pasting in there, but essentially this would be blank. Uh, so then you would just paste it in there. So you just go like, oh, paste. But I'm not gonna do that because I already have my code in there and I don't wanna mess with it. So that's what you do, and then you hit done editing after that. I'm just gonna hit cancel because, like I said, I've done all this. So this is just to show you guys where you should put your code and things like that. No, oh, make sure I'm quiet down there. Um, so yeah, and then afterwards, if it worked, then basically you will have you can highlight over the different spots that are clickable, and you will see down the, I guess the bottom left corner that'll show you where exactly it's going to. So that would be like Facebook, that would be Twitter. So there you go. So that's basically all it is to it. Uh, so all you really need is that website, and then once you figure out, you know, okay, this is the image. Once you get all the dimensions figured out with, then that's all you really need to do. So when it, make sure it all works and I hope it works for you guys. If you have any questions for me, like for some reason something's not working or I don't know, the links aren't working or whatever, just let me know. Uh, I'll try to help you the best I can. And so that's going to be it for this tutorial. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If it's helped you, um, let me know uh, if it hasn't any advice for in future. So that's going to be it. Uh, also suggest to me maybe another tutorial thing I could do as well. Uh, anything you want to suggest to me, leave me in the comments below. Like I said, links in the description. So, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Till next one, take care.